Welcome to another KPASA Talks. My name is Kevin Nethercott, and I'm the managing partner here at the CPASS Acceleration Alliance, aka KPASA. And this is one of our KPASA Talks for our new members. We'd like to welcome today Mary Clark from Numerical. Welcome, Mary. Thank you. Delighted and, to be here. And Natasha from Long Telecom. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, Mary, I don't know how familiar our audience is with the company Numerical. You guys are doing some really cool things. Um, why don't you give us a short personal introduction along with uh, the highlights of what Numerical is working on? Sure. I, I have been with Numerical now since uh, about February of this year. Uh, my background, I've been in telecom a long time, uh, I have to say, uh, many, many years. Uh, and, and of course, you never want to say exactly how many, but many years, I'll put it to you that way. Um, and uh, the, the business Numerical is in is really all about making sure that a consumer knows who is calling them. So we are in the business of providing enterprise identity uh, to the display of a device for a consumer uh, really focusing on that identity and ensuring that uh, we're just building as much trust in the communications channel as we possibly can. So that's very much what we do here in the United States primarily and uh, and making sure that if you're answering a call, you feel confident that it's not spam, it's not scam, it's who you think it is. Excellent. No, that's a, that's a service that we're all hoping gets spread all over the planet. I know. I tell people uh, I do that and they're like, oh, thank God. <laughs> That's right. That's right. It's wonderful. That's right. Yeah. Everyone's an immediate fan. Absolutely. Yeah, immediately. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, great, great, great. Well, well, once again, welcome. Um, Thank you. Natasha, tell us a little bit about you and, and Long Telecom. Well, Long Telecom is a leading carrier and um, it was founded uh, in uh, 2001. Uh, so we have more than 20 years of expertise. We started with the voice services and became famous uh, uh, for our client approach and uh, quality of termination. Now we have more than 100, 1,500 uh, partners worldwide, and we cover about 190 uh, countries. And in uh, 150 of them, we have direct, direct connectivity. About 10 years ago, uh, we expanded our business by adding uh, business messaging and we proceeded uh, and um, uh, we succeeded, excuse me, and uh, uh, now we became um, a significant uh, um, uh, player in this market as well. Um, uh, along our way, uh, when fraud came to being, into being, uh, so we came out, uh, come, came up with the idea to develop our own uh, anti-fraud system. And uh, as we developed it, it uh, now it is a high effective uh, system that protects uh, both SMS and voice traffic. And we provide it uh, to all our customers uh, uh, for free of charge. Uh, several years ago, uh, we decided to enter uh, the enterprise market as well. And uh, we offered our enterprise client uh, um, uh, anti-fraud system as well as traffic termination. And uh, now we uh, now we offer them uh, the uh, uh, solution that uh, combines uh, our uh, multi-channel um, messaging platform, our CPAS solution, uh, to, uh, and uh, anti-fraud system, and of course the traffic itself. Um, also, uh, we uh, work uh, with uh, smaller carriers as our CPAS solution uh, can be offered as uh, 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 in a white label uh, model. Uh, so we provide a messaging tool uh, for those who decided to diversify their business by engaging enterprise customers. As for me, I also joined uh, the, the uh, long team recently. So uh, also I joined the uh, um, my team only uh, a year ago. I've, uh, I have extensive uh, uh, telecom experience and uh, having uh, roles uh, uh, both in uh, product man, um, products and business 
and uh, all my almost uh, 20 years track uh, has been around uh, um, um, business messaging and uh, product management. Uh, so my previous uh, position uh, before Lang, I, I worked as a product manager for uh, a well-known uh, you know, software developing a company famous for its uh, telecom products. Excellent, excellent. Well, again, well, welcome well, both to the call here as well as to the CPAS acceleration as as new members. Um, Mary, we've we've had some interactions there with Numerical. Um, tell us a little bit why you joined Kinsasa and maybe the role that uh, Numerical is playing in our security and trust group. That might be interesting for for our listeners. Certainly. Um, <clears throat> The uh, the role currently that we're providing uh, today in the marketplace to enterprises, uh, we are also looking to really enable uh, providers such as uh, CPaaS providers with the ability to uh, deliver a vetting solution that will then subsequently assist uh, the delivery of the identity to the consumer. So we're looking for uh, the opportunity really to speak to and get to know the problems that are being solved by the CPAS providers that are a part of CAPASA today and uh, getting to better understand, you know, that problem, those problems that they're looking to solve and to the extent that numerical can, uh, through our extensive work that we're doing to drive uh, real confidence into the identity of uh, of anything of anyone or any entity that is calling a consumer we want to be able to provide uh, a significant amount of, of comfort to that consumer but we also really want to enable uh the capasa providers potentially to be able to sell this as well so from our point of view this is a uh, a really synergistic uh membership where uh we you know are are really a part of that solution provisioning and, and product offering that we believe that a, a CPAS provider could, could really take advantage of. So having been involved in uh, business messaging and in voice and, and, uh, and, and certainly RCS and now with the incoming of uh, a rich call data into the, the call path, um, you know, think many things are changing in the, in the dynamic of, uh, of what CPAS can, what a CPAS provider can deliver. And so we really want to be a part of and be immersed in that and in, in that entire community. And that's really, you know, where CPAS just sits smack in the middle of that. So it's perfect for us. Um, the, uh, you know, the, the role that we, we provide here today, just briefly is, uh, an enterprise wants to be able to deliver a call to a consumer. We do the vetting up front of that enterprise to a very high standard. And that subsequent vetting then subsequently allows us to register the outbound numbers of those enterprises with the analytics engine companies that are acting as the really the, the front doors, if you will, to the largest terminating carriers in the United States. That registration process and that sort of one stop shop for that kind of solution is really the, you know, the value proposition right off the bat. The longer term uh, opportunity here, and certainly what we're looking to drive here is an open ecosystem that's also a zero trust framework that really allows anyone to ultimately deliver, you know, the name of the, the company to, you know, to the, uh, to the display, as well as the logo and the reason for the call. Uh, but that, you know, there, there's work being done in, uh, in the industry to ensure that that ecosystem comes to bear and, and numerical is playing a significant role in that. Um, so as it relates to that aspect and, and your security and trust uh, group, our founder uh, and CEO, Rebecca Johnson, who was really the visionary behind uh, the need for identity, uh, you know, really taking what's been done in the banking and financial services industries and, and the healthcare industry, <clears throat> excuse me, to bring that kind of discipline over into uh, what's happening in telecom and saying, you know, let's take that, that KYC and get to know your customer activity and that vetting and make it so that every communications channel that we have is, is really being uh, supported with truly vetted information up front. So we have that 
trust and identity all the way through the through the the channel. So the the trust and, and security group that KPOS is driving, Rebecca is now uh, co-chairing that activity, and and with significant focus on how do we raise I, the topic of identity. Let's kind of get out of this amorphous discussion of you know well you know, what are the different technological methods we can take? What are the actions we can be taking in terms of um, uh, of standards? we got to start at the beginning, which is who is it? You know, who is calling us? And, and just this is just voice right now, right? And we need to move into messaging. We need to move into to the other communications channels that, you know, that are available to any any enterprise that all the CPaaS providers are looking to deliver on. So we're very excited about having this opportunity and are really thrilled to have the, you know, the, the privilege of being able to be a leader inside of KPOSA to drive security and trust for identity uh, inside the, you know, the broader ecosystem. So it's a really great opportunity for us. We're really thrilled about it. Yeah, no, we appreciate all the hard work that uh, the team's putting in there and, and supporting the rest of the community. And so we're excited yeah. about where that's going and what we'll be able to do at, uh, at CASA 24 here in September. Absolutely. In Amsterdam. It'll be, to that. it'll be good. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So, so Natasha, as um, Lonk is a global player for sure. Um, yeah. As as you've transitioned your business and added more and more capabilities, and and now with the broader CPaaS offering, um, maybe share with us a little bit on what um, a, a key use case that uh, that your platform and can provide that is very popular with the enterprises. And um, and then we'd also like to understand um, why you joined KPASA and, and how we can help you. Uh, about our use cases. Uh, so uh, now our main use case is uh, to provide an anti-fraud solution. As and uh, we would like to, uh, to help uh, companies uh, to uh, secure their traffic. As and uh, uh, so we uh, developed the unique uh, system, uh, which uh, helps uh, to protect uh, the companies uh, from uh, every known uh, types of uh, fraud um, within messaging and uh, voice. And uh, so we also would like to share so all these features uh, so of our anti-fraud uh, solution with uh, uh, <clears throat> with colleagues uh, in uh, CPAS uh, industry. Uh, so uh, regarding our um, um, uh, platform, also we will work with uh, uh, different kinds of uh, channels and now uh, we work not only uh, with mobile channels, <coughs> we also uh, added um, uh, emails uh, recently and uh, we are going uh, to add voice. As, uh, and as we have uh, this uh, very deep experience uh, in um, our voice, uh, and the messaging termination, so uh, we uh, we are able to provide a very high quality uh, for reasonable price. And uh, um, uh, talking about use cases, uh, so nothing uh, special. So, but as we uh, can work with uh, all kind of use cases within all the channels, uh, so we uh, provide uh, um, um, tools for marketing companies. Uh, campaigns and uh, for OTP, we have uh, fallback uh, OTP scenarios, including uh, messaging channels as well as voice channels, pin to speech, uh, flash calls, and um, so it helps uh, to uh, deliver um, uh, OTP in a very safe and uh, fast way. And uh, this is uh, very appreciated uh, by our clients and. Uh, um, so that's uh, why we um, uh, so uh, we are uh, so how can I say that uh, I don't uh, want to promote ourselves, uh, but uh, as we deal with uh, uh, have been dealing with uh, traffic for so long, so and, uh, this is our um, uh, our main qualification, so that uh, we can provide uh, them not only for carriers but for enterprise. And uh, yes, and I uh, think uh, this is our main uh, feature. Great. So Natasha, um, as you look mm -hmm. at the mm -hmm. um, opportunities that are out there, um, if I'm interested in, in like, what types of partners or customers are, are you looking for? Um, uh, through, uh, of course, the first 
uh, that uh, it would be interesting for us as the companies for, for whom we can sell something. Um, <laughs> I don't know, is it the right place uh, for, to now find uh, that kind of, uh, the kind of uh, companies? Uh, so, but anyway, so we would like uh, to form the environment, uh, the uh, definition uh, and uh, the set of qualities for uh, CPRs uh, has been discussed for years. And it means uh, that uh, um, environment is still forming and uh, we, want, uh, we want, uh, don't want uh, to stay apart of the process and uh, we would like to um, bring our um, contribution to uh, developing our ecosystem. And uh, also, it would be interesting what uh, the market leader uh, share, will share with us uh, uh, regarding their uh, use cases and uh, features and uh, uh, that their customers require. Uh, so that uh, uh, just um, normal partnership community of uh, work. <laughs> great, great. Mary, same question to you. If, if someone's interested in numerical, what types of partners and customers um, is numerical looking to engage with? Really, uh, any CPAS that has business in the U.S. Uh, with enterprises that are U.S. based right now, that is very much our focus. Is those are, and th this is why the 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 organization is so valuable to us. Um, I think the the opportunity for expanding and adding uh, the ability to deliver enterprise identity is a key component to adding to the suite of services that uh, a CPAS would like to have. So any of the CPAS members in the United States would be really uh, ideal for us to get to know, and, and those would be the ideal partners for us. No question. Okay. Great, great, great. So I'd like to end on a personal question. So Natasha, if you had your own home office and could work in any city in the world, what city would that be for you? Uh, so I don't know. So there are so many interesting places in the world, and uh, um, it could be great uh, to be able to change uh, the places uh, several year, uh, several times a year, uh, and to visit uh, as many places as is possible. As I have a home office and can work from everywhere. <laughs> okay. okay. So it sounds like you already it have some like flexibility there. Yeah. <laughs> so Mary, how about you? Uh, that's a tough one. Uh, I, I, I agree with Natasha. There's so many wonderful places. Um, but I, I think my immediate reaction would probably be London. Mm -hmm. It's my home away from home. And, uh, and, and that would be that when you, when you asked Natasha that question, that was immediately my answer. Well, I go to London. So mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go with my gut. My gut reaction is, is, is London. That would be my, it's, I, I live there as a, as a kid and, and, uh, and really, get back there as often as I can. So I'd probably be there just right off That's the bat. Great. That's great. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping that each of you are working from Amsterdam the week of September 16th so that we can all be there together. Um, we're super excited about the summit and how that's all coming together. And um, it's going to be a wonderful time to be with members. We'll have a lot of other visitors there. And we'll have some really fun evening events to uh, to get to know each other a lot better there as well. Look forward to it. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Well, really appreciate you joining us here today and um, excited to have you as new members. And let us know how we can help and look forward to working together um, in, the, in the coming days, weeks, and months. Thanks so much, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much.